Beavers are one of the skilled architect animals in building dams. They often fell large trees using their sharp teeth to use as the primary building material for their dams. After successfully felling a tree, they cut it into more manageable pieces to transport to the chosen dam site. They systematically arrange these pieces, laying them horizontally and vertically to create a sturdy dam wall. To reinforce the dam's structure, beavers use natural materials they find in their surroundings, collecting mud, sand, rocks, and other vegetation as binders. Beaver dams can reach hundreds of meters in length. One of the largest beaver dams ever built is the Beaver Creek Dam in the province of Alberta, Canada. This dam measures approximately 850 meters or 2,789 feet in length and is one of the largest structures ever constructed by animals. This small caterpillar is capable of decimating nearly half of an ant colony. Meet the Fengerus Arion caterpillar. The Fengerus Arion caterpillar is a parasitoid species that takes advantage of ants for its reproduction. This caterpillar has a strong adaptation in the form of mimicry. They emit scents and produce false signals resembling an emergency call from the ant queen, causing worker ants to believe it's the queen ant and carry the caterpillar into their nest. Inside the ant nest, this caterpillar will consume those eggs without arousing suspicion from the worker ants because the caterpillar is already regarded as the queen by the ants. For approximately six months, this caterpillar will remain inside the ant nest, continuously feeding on ant eggs until it reaches a body size nearly 100 times larger than before. Then, this caterpillar will transform into a chrysalis, and after nearly a year, this chrysalis will emerge as a beautiful butterfly. The great white shark is one of the most feared predators in the world. One of its most terrifying features is its teeth. They have very sharp teeth with pointed tips, numbering around 300 teeth. Uniquely, when their teeth break, they can continuously regrow them up to 3,000 teeth throughout their lifetime. Their teeth are designed like knives, making them deadly natural cutting machines. When great white sharks attack, they often employ a tactic of shaking their bodies to create deeper wounds and tear more tissue on their prey. This ensures that the prey weakens more quickly. Yet, the great white shark's teeth are not designed for chewing. They tend to cut parts of their prey's body and then swallow them whole. Interestingly, great white sharks do not consume their prey immediately. They bite the prey, causing a fatal wound, and then wait for a while as the prey weakens before they begin to consume it. The honey badger is one of the most fascinating animals in the world. From its bravery in facing opponents much larger than itself to its remarkable immune system that makes it immune to snake venom, one of the intriguing aspects is its intelligence. Honey badgers are among the non-primate animals that display exceptional intelligence. Experts have conducted various tests and observations to understand the extent of their intelligence. They are often considered highly adept at problem solving and can strategize to overcome complex challenges. Some studies have shown that honey badgers can use objects as tools. For instance, they can use sticks as tools to aid in their escape. In the wild, honey badgers have a good understanding of their environment. They know where to find sources of food, shelter, and how to avoid danger. Peregrine falcons are exceptional hunters. They can reach speeds of up to 240 miles per hour or 386 kilometers per hour when they swoop down on their prey. With this speed, they become one of the fastest animals in the world. Peregrine falcons often hunt from significant heights. They use a technique called stoop, diving from high altitudes at impressive speeds when they pounce on their prey. Peregrine falcons have incredibly strong and sharp talons. These talons help them injure their prey and lock onto it tightly to prevent it from escaping. They have vision that is eight times better than human vision, allowing them to spot prey from a distance, even when hunting at high altitudes. Peregrine falcons are capable of migrating thousands of miles to escape harsh winter conditions in their native regions. This migration is an effort to find more abundant food sources during the winter. 
If animals often engage in fights over mates, unlike the blue mannequin birds from South America. These blue mannequin birds cooperate to help other male mannequins in their quest to win the affections of females. Before displaying their actions to the female birds, a group of male mannequins practices every day, with some young males even pretending to be females. Once the male mannequins feel ready, they showcase the dance they've been rehearsing daily to charm their potential mates. These male birds leap and twirl gracefully in the air with remarkable precision. All these movements are accompanied by a series of distinctive sounds they produce, creating a stunning natural harmony. After performing their dance, the male birds await the response of the females. If accepted, they proceed to mate. This is the dance movements of the parosha bird to attract the attention of the female bird. Before beginning the dance, the male parosha bird will search for the right spot in the Papua New Guinea rainforest. Once they find a suitable location, the parosha bird will start cleaning the leaves or branches until they are completely clear. After everything is clean, the male parosha will call the nearby females. Once successfully attracting a female, the male parosha will bow and start performing a dance reminiscent of a ballerina. During the dance, male parosha birds showcase their beautiful feathers, including their long and brightly colored neck feathers. These feathers are used to capture the attention of the female and enhance their allure. After successfully winning the female's heart, the parosha bird's dance comes to an end, and they proceed with the mating process. This fish has a peculiar physical appearance and appears to be deformed. Meet the flatfish. Flatfish have highly asymmetrical bodies. Interestingly, when they are born, their bodies are symmetrical like typical fish, but as they grow, one of their eyes moves to the other side. Flatfish often have skin colors that match the seafloor where they reside. This is due to the presence of melanophore cells in their skin, which allows them to change their skin color based on their habitat. Although the color change in flatfish is not as rapid as in some other fish, they still have the ability to adapt their skin color over a longer period to match their surroundings. The flesh of flatfish is often considered delicious and used in various culinary dishes. As a result, they are frequently a significant target in commercial fishing.